everyone, welcome back. It is oscilloscope upgrade time. Remember in our last video, we put together this. This is a ferroelectric RAM replacement for a Dallas DS1225Y battery backed non volatile RAM. It's what these old HP scopes use to store calibration settings. And the problem is as those NV RAMs get old, batteries wear out, they weaken, at some point they die. And then once they do, there's just nothing you can, you can do. There are ways to cut open the, the NV RAM chip, solder a battery onto it, and you know, those work, but we can do better. And so we're gonna put one of these ferroelectric RAMs in place of that and uh, give the scope a new lease on life. So as I said, I have three of these scopes. I have a 60 megahertz, I have a 100 megahertz, and I also have a logic analyzer. They all look the same. They all use the same battery backed RAM. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna start with the 60 megahertz scope, the one that I least likely to be using. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take out the, the circuit, the main, uh, main logic board, desolder the Dallas chip that's on it, put this in its place, boot it back up, and uh, I don't know, hopefully it works. I feel pretty confident. All right, let me get the scope open. We'll be right back. All right, two screws on the back gets us into the scope. This is, uh, this is the inside. Quick peek again. We've got power supply over here. We've got video module here. Scope's really just like four pieces. There's the power supply, video module, main board, and the front panel. So we're not touching anything on this side. So let's give it a flip over here. And let's find, uh, let's find what we're looking for. And that piece is right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. This big little this box here. So this chip is a, this is an ST Microelectronics M48Z18-100 PC1, zero power RAM, lithium battery. This chip is the same as the Dallas DS1225Y. Uh, they actually standardized all these chips, so Several manufacturers make non-volatile static RAMs and they're all pin compatible. Uh, this chip over here, this big long chip, is the, uh, is the system ROM. And I may or may not pop that out and, uh, and just make a copy of that. We'll see. But let's get, the, uh, let's get this replaced. So to replace it, we've got one, two, three, four... Uh, there's like five screws on the board. I think I need to unscrew there. I need to I need to detach. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, I need to take this bolt off of here. A couple screws over here in addition to the screws on the board itself. And see what we need to do with these, uh, with these covers over the front end. It looks like they unscrew and slide off. I'm hoping so. So once we do that, we'll have the main board out and then we can look to unsolder this chip. All right, so let me get that disassembled and we'll come back and uh, take out the old uh, non-volatile RAM. All right, we've got the main board out. Actually came out pretty easily. I did have to unsolder one small wire. If you look here at J4, that was to the probe calibration piece at the front of the scope. But otherwise, everything came out. Uh, here's our front end, here's channels one and two, and here's for the triggering section. Here's a, uh, here's a better close-up of the chip that we're going to be replacing. And if we take a look on the underside, nope. You can see it's flagged as U70, and this is what we need to unsolder. All right, I'm going to break out the uh, the Hacko desoldering gun. 
and we're gonna get that unsoldered and I'll be back right after that. All right, we got the Envy RAM module desoldered. I've placed a, a socket on the board here. Looks pretty good. Here's our module. If we wanna get a little bit better look at it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the scope back together and we will plug this back in, make sure that everything boots up the way it's supposed to. And if that all still looks good, then we'll pop this uh, FRAM in and see how it all works. All right, back in a minute. All right, and we're back. All right, got the scope back together. Uh, I don't have the cover on it because I gotta swap the chips, but scope's back together. If we look underneath here, uh, let me bring it into, you can see I've popped the old NV RAM back in it. And let's, uh, let's see if it starts up. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Well, that does not look promising. <sighs> All right, let's... Uh... Let's check the cable to the video board here. Make sure that's in there well. Double check the cable to the power supply. Okay, that looks better. Let's uh, give it another shot. Cross our fingers. Well, that's not promising at all. I didn't kill this. Put the damn chip in upside down. All right, that was a that was a, a rookie move. Uh, it's high. It doesn't bode well. Oh, well, I may have fried that. memories failed vertical calves checksum failed defaults loaded default okay I may have killed the chip but the scope does still start up so let's let's go to utility service self-test display that looks good that looks good back measure DC cal output for zero volt. Let's see this one. ROM, scope self test pass, RAM, self test passed. Okay, so looks like the RAM module is probably okay, uh, but I killed all the calibration data. So, self cal. Calibration memory is protected. I really didn't want to destroy the calibration data. Okay. Connect DC calibrator output to channel one, then continue. So. Let's 
do that. Ah. That's all right. It's a piece of tough equipment. All right, let's press continue. All right, we cal the scope and um, let's turn it off, put it back on, and it looks pretty happy. All right, so with that done, let's pop out my now abused. NV RAM module. It does still seem to work. So, props for that. And we will put in, I don't know, which way does this go? All right, this was this way, this was this way. So, should go like that. Turn the scope on. And nothing. Well, that was not encouraging. Just holding this in place here. Okay, let's start up with that. I'm gonna try to bring this around the other way. I mean, if I kill it, I've got another one, I'm not really worried about it. Okay, that was not good. That got very hot, very fast. Oh. Look at this. Privilege violation, O eight, O H. Don't know what that means. Um, let's try again. Well, I'm going to have to look up what a privilege violation is. That doesn't look good. All right. I think we're going to end the video here. And I'm going to do a little bit of research. See what I can figure out. All right, everyone. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And um, everything doesn't work the way we want it to. All right. Questions, comments, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.